Hello, Cornerstone Church. We come to you live from the West Strand. A um, couple of us elders have come to Featherbrook Village to take occupancy of our new site. Uh, site the new for seven. Um, it's a shell of a of a space at the moment, but with great possibilities. Children's ministry, little auditorium, offices, wonderful. Perfectly situated in a shopping center that's very busy. It's going to be great. This is an answer to prayer. So thank you for those who have prayed, and I want to encourage uh, you to pray as well into the future that this would be a wonderful kind of place in which we could interact with this community and see many, many people come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. So already this Sunday, the West is going to kick off uh, with their meetings here. I'm going to ask Vanna to just fill us in with that detail. Yeah, so Sunday we'll be meeting 9 a.m. at this venue, and uh, we're just trusting from day one that there'll be such a wonderful move of the Lord, His presence and His power. We're trusting just for Him to save people in this area. So pray with us, trust with us. We do believe this is an answer to prayer. And uh, we covet your prayers. Great. Thanks, Vanna. So uh, how can we get involved? If you know some folk in this area that aren't part of a local church or perhaps even friends you want to kind of bring to this meeting or to this place so that they can kind of be exposed to the gospel, come with them. So do that and pray. Pray for us. Pray for us. Pray for us. There's always uh, lots of you know, challenges to, to a startup like this. And then, of course, if God moves your heart, please, uh, you know, give toward this as well. Uh, there's a building that needs to be fixed up a bit inside. And also, you know, on an ongoing basis, this is kind of added now to our budget. But remember, the whole purpose of this, as God has led us, is across the city, is to find out where He's opening doors so that we can preach the gospel. And through preaching the gospel is make disciples, see a biblical community develop. And like in the other, some of the other sites from this site, see us reach out into the world with the gospel so two other things i want to encourage us with cornerstone the first one is um, as we know there's uh, been a limitation again on meeting sizes for a lot of the sites it may mean two meetings uh, bedford view there's a few more meetings those bits of information and communication will come to you via email um, but kind of allied to that we've also seen a rise in people getting sick family members dying through COVID. Remember, uh, we the church are around uh, with compassionate hearts for a time like this. Please reach out to friends and neighbors and encourage them. Volunteer to pray for them. Volunteer to help them in whichever way we want to do it. So I encourage you with that. And then lastly, on the 11th, 12th and 13th, we're having a weekend of prayer and fasting. And the theme for this time of prayer and fasting is we believe God's calling us to wait on Him uh, God's calling us to worship. God's calling us uh, just to, in, in our lives, realize how beautiful and how magnificent Christ is. And through that, like with Isaiah, he heard the call. Like with the church at Antioch, they heard a very clear uh, call to the nations. And we see that church sending people out to Galatia to preach and to establish churches. Uh, and so I want to encourage us to get involved we're going to do it this way at Bedford View on Friday the 11th at 6, 7 p.m. We're going to have a, a kind of corporate meeting. Uh, come along. There are three, venue, three areas uh, and we can accommodate 250 outside. But we're going to celebrate together at the start. Saturday at 6 o'clock we're going to meet. And then in our uh, sites on Sunday morning we're going to break bread, have a light meal together and kind of end our time of fasting that way. So ahead of time, pray into it. And also during that time, Adele and I do this. We kind of pick a few slots and then we pray. Uh, we just give ourselves to prayer as well. At a time like this, when we trust in God for revival, it's through prayer. It's through seeking God. Love you guys at Cornerstone. Uh, praying for you. Have a great week.